Public comment on a menthol cigarette and flavored cigar ban began today, nearly a week after the FDA first introduced the proposed rules. Experts say the move may save hundreds of thousands of lives and reduce disparities in tobacco-related diseases. Fox 17's Marisa Oberly joins us live in studio with a look at how this might impact people who smoke in Michigan. Marisa? Yeah, Max and Janice, this is a long time coming. More than 18 0.5 million people use menthol cigarettes and FDA research shows black smokers and young people prefer it usually because of its minty flavor, but that comes at a cost. One study from the University of Michigan published last year found that while African Americans represent 12% of the country's population, they carried 41% of all menthol smoking related premature deaths between 1980 and 2018. Libby Stern. It's expensive, it's deadly, it's addictive. Minces no words when she states her thoughts on smoking. It causes just immeasurable, um, preventable disease and death. A former smoker herself, she now runs the cessation program at Spectrum Health and applauds the proposed plan introduced by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration last Thursday, which would prohibit menthol cigarettes and flavored cigars. It will definitely decrease the rate of youth experimentation mm -hmm. and subsequently will decrease um, addiction and all the problems that come with that. In its announcement, the FDA cited high rates of use by young adults, African Americans, and other racial and ethnic groups. Nationwide, 85% of black smokers use menthol cigarettes, compared to 30% of white smokers. Additionally, from 2011 to 2018, menthol use declined among white teenagers, but not black or Hispanic youth. Data from 2020 also showed nearly 60% of youth smoked a flavored cigar within the past 30 days. Menthol products are, they're easier to start, right? Because they're so, it, it's easier on the throat, it tastes better, um, and they're more difficult to, to quit because people typically, like I said, they oftentimes smoke more um, mm -hmm. and they're more addicted to the product. Stern adds that historically, tobacco companies heavily market menthol products to the African-American and LGBTQ communities through culturally tailored images. In Michigan, 18.7% of adults smoke, a decrease from years past, but still higher than the national rate. It's unclear how many people use menthol in the state. Stern says if the ban passes, people may try eating cigarettes, but she believes the majority of people will quit because of differences in taste. The FDA estimates the elimination of menthol could prevent up to 654,000 smoking deaths each year, 238,000 of those among African Americans. There's absolutely nothing good about smoking. And meanwhile, tobacco companies say this deal would be a large blow to them with one spokesperson saying, quote, criminalizing menthol would have serious unintended consequences. That public comment period for, for this proposed menthol ban lasts through July 5th. Spectrum, meanwhile, launched free virtual cessation classes last September. If you were someone you know would like to sign up, you can visit our website at fox17online.com right now to do so. I'm reporting live in the studio. Maurice Oberly, Fox 17 News.